Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. The purpose of this video is to provide a bit of inspiration in how you can use Smartsheet for a different purpose, in this case, how to create a slot booking system. So in here, I've got a simple dashboard where you can see various booking slots and how people can book them. So we'll come on to that in a moment, but just as a quick reminder before we dive in, at Productive, we love inspiring people with what can be achieved with Smartsheet. This is a bit of a demonstration of a solution. We love building solutions for people, so do get in touch if you want some assistance there. Or we'd love to hear how you're using Smartsheet and what you've been inspired to do with that piece. Like, subscribe, share the content with others, and then they can find it and also achieve more within their Smartsheet. So let's dive back into the content. So this dashboard, I've made it fairly simple, just purely for demonstration purposes. But the idea is that you can see I've got two alternative views that you could have here to see the booking slots. One is using a report view, and it shows you what slots are booked and which ones are available. So the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Or in this view, it is a published sheet view. And again, it gives a slightly different interaction. It takes up more space, um, but you can drill down and see the items down below in here. So both will expand as more items go in down below. It all depends on how you want people to interact with the system overall and which one you want. Now in here, we've got a form. And so if someone wants to book a session, so let's just say I am today for this demo, I'm gonna be Tomas. And on here, I'm going to choose the date of the 8th of August, for example, and say, I want to join Abdullah and Susie at that session as well. So I've booked that session and I'm going to book it. This will go into the registrations sheet. So in here, I've got a separate sheet and you can see if I refresh it, that Tomash's request has just come in to here. And so what it means now is the actual booking system will register it. I'm going to refresh the dashboard and hopefully it will come through first time. But if not, we'll refresh again. And you can see that Tomash has, his slot is there and is also booked into here. So how's this solution working? It's quite simple in that you've got the booking slots, which is what is being used for this published sheet. And then you've got the registration sheet, which I have just shown you a moment ago. And this is where the requests come into. There's a form that sits off that, which you've seen on the dashboard. So let's just say I want to add in another slot for the 9th of August. So on the slots, what I'm gonna do is just go to this sheet and here I'm going to copy this section for the 8th of August. And I'm just gonna go down here and create a new one, delete the little gap. And here I'm gonna change this to be the, oops, the 9th of August at 1 p.m. for example. And you can see as soon as I save it, the slots all become available because no one's booked any of those slots as yet. So having created this additional slot, if I go to the registration sheet, having saved this one first, go to the registration sheet, I can now add in this session as a choice. And then it means now that people can book that on the form. So let's go back to the dashboard and what's changed as a result, you can now see that on the report, that's extended as well. So it's dynamic using the report. Also on this version here, you can see again, it's the same view of the sheet. So that slot is available and it's available now. So let's just say I'm gonna be in this case, Jose, and I'm gonna book the 9th of August because no one else is on that yet. And I'm going to take the first slot there. If I submit, that will go through and he'll be added onto that system in a moment, as you'll see on the registrations. <clears throat> so what's happening here? In the slots sheet, you can see that each one has got a number. And let me just go into that sheet for a moment and show you a bit more detail. So in this one, so I'm going to unhide all columns. It's got a column which is telling you what the time is. And so I'm using a formula which looks at what slot and the time and so in the registration sheet, what it's doing is going to that sheet and it's saying, okay, how many slots have been booked? None. And so as the, each one comes in, it's saying on the 5th of August, that's the first registration 
on the 5th of August, that's the second registration. And how's it working that out? So it's using a match collect formula, using this reference column, and the reference column is giving it a, whichever number this appears in, it always means it's the right number relative to the sheet, as opposed to the ID, which is, if I go to here, this is the auto number one. So whichever sequence I move things up and down, so to speak, you can see that the numbers always stay the same in the reference cell. So Jose is booked on this one. Let's go back to the dashboard and you'll see that Jose is now booked into there. And so that is the essence of the solution. Now, how you choose to use this, completely up to you. Again, this aim here is a bit of inspiration to show you how you might be able to use this for a booking system, a training system, a space booking, however you want on that side, just so you can get more out of your Smartsheet uh, platform and solution. And again, just give you some inspiration of some of the things that you can achieve on that side. So trust that's been useful for you. If you want the template set for this, please download it. There'll be a link in the YouTube um, description. Some of the items will be slightly changed. For example, the form and the publish sheet those links won't be in the actual um, item itself, but there'll be images of it to give you inspiration. But then you can look and see the formulas and see how this has been created. So best of luck. Let me know how you get on and more videos to follow. Thanks for watching and bye for now.